All right, this is a follow-up to a video I posted related to being able to stream from multiple devices um, into uh, a TV screen. Uh, here we have our FPV case um, set up. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, the last video I showed you how to stream uh, from the Mavic Mini. And uh, the bottom line is basically using um, technology called Mirrorcast or casting. You are able to stream to external sources that have HDMI in, like large screen TV, command centers, and in our case, our FPV box here, um, from um, a tablet, whether it's iOS or Android, uh, pretty simply. Um, and what we're using here is the EasyCast 2. Um, we've also done this with the Fire Stick. You can do it with Apple TV, but the EasyCast supports both iOS and Android, so it's kind of a nice go between um, the fire stick will do that also pretty inexpensive stuff you can see it here it's tied into one of the two HDMI inputs we have in the case um, and in this video we're going to show you how to go through a smart controller rather than a tablet uh, that you might have on your device uh, this will also work with the crystal sky so first things first um, obviously power it up um, the power supply in here powers it up as well as powers the uh, TV that we have here um, mounted into the um, case. Um, you have your smart controller here. So in a nutshell, uh, when, you, when you power it up, you're going to get this screen, um, the EasyCast screen, which is just a save screen. And you're going to come up to the good old DJI um, um, screen here. If you come down here and you drag down, you're going to go in and you're going to see you have all your settings. Go up to your settings here, and you know on, on the smart controller you can choose a Wi-Fi network. So if you notice, the Wi-Fi network we've connected it to is the EasyCast. The EasyCast has its own Wi-Fi network. Obviously, it'll connect to Internet as well, but in this case, we're going to connect directly to it, which we've done. Um, we're going to back out of... Um, while you're in here, you're going to come down, and under Display Settings, you're going to open that up and you're going to see one of the options here is cast so if I choose cast you'll see easy casters in here I tap on it and just like at home when you put your pictures on your TV it's going to connect to it and then it's going to eventually stream your smart controller to the screen if I back out of this now you'll note, since my aircraft's already up and running, I'm going to connect my air cap, bind it up. I'm going to find myself in here. You see the screen's mirrored nicely. I enter in. And you'll note that the feed from my aircraft is now on both screens. The aircraft is here. And you'll note that now I have a pretty good stream. Now you'll also note, if you look at the latency on the screen and the smart controller in this video, all right, the latency is pretty low. So it, you can stream from your smart controller. Um, obviously, we have the option, if this is not working, that we can, um, uh, we can tie the cable in directly off the HDMI port into the case. But it's a nice feature to have this wireless option. Um, we try to keep things simple for our team, understanding that everybody's a techie um, and that they um, may or may not know how to set this up. So we put a little quick sheet in here. If all else fails, they can just grab the cable and tie it in. But it's, it's a nice application to be able to set this up wirelessly off of the smart controller. So I wanted to share the steps with that for you if you haven't seen that before. This also will work with the Fire TV as well. Um, Fire TV stick um, for Android and iOS through an app called AirPlay, which will accept uh, both streams from AirPlay on iOS and obviously from Android. Um, a lot of times on the Samsung stuff, it's called Smart View. Um, but most of this stuff you can find in a forum. Um, if you have a Crystal Sky, I don't have it here with me. Um, the steps would probably be pretty similar since essentially the smart controller is a Crystal Sky in a controller. So that's it. So I wanted to share this. Uh, thanks. If you have any questions, post them up. 
and uh, just another tool you can use in your command centers to share a second screen with the command staff um, so that they can see what you see without having them looking over your shoulder.